Good morning, sixth grade. So we're going to continue with chapter 23, lesson four, which is the Industrial Revolution. So let's go ahead and get started here. Lesson four, the Industrial Revolution. It matters because small steps in industrial development led to big changes over time. Birth of industry. Guiding question. Why did the Industrial Revolution begin in Britain? While political change affected much of Europe and the Americas, a new economic system known as industrialism began in Britain. There, people began to use machines to do work that had been performed by animals or humans. Over the next 200 years, industrialism affected life so dramatically that historians call the changes it brought the Industrial Revolution. Before the rise of industrialism, most people lived in small farming villages. Cloth was made by village people working in their homes. Merchants went from cottage to cottage, bringing the workers raw wool and cotton. The workers used hand-powered wheels to spin the wool and cotton into thread. They worked on looms to weave the thread into cloth. The merchants then sold the finished cloth for the highest possible price. The Industrial Revolution began in the woven cloth or textile industry. Merchants could make a great deal of money from textiles, so they began to look for ways to produce cloth better and faster. By the 1700s, changes in Britain made this possible. What caused the Industrial Revolution? Britain led the way in the Industrial Revolution for many reasons. One important reason was a change in the way British landowners used their land. For hundreds of years, landowners rented land to villagers who divided it into strips. Different families worked different strips of land. In addition, villagers could keep livestock on public lands. In the 1700s, new enclosure laws allowed landowners to combine and fence off the strips and public lands. This created large farms where the same crop could be grown on large areas. This meant larger harvests and greater profits. Often the landowners used the land as pasture for sheep. The landowners could then sell wool to the textile industry. Successful farming provided landowners with more money to spend. Many chose to invest or put money into new businesses. Money invested in businesses is called capital. A growing middle class of merchants and shopkeepers also began to invest capital in new industries. Increased population. Still another cause of the Industrial Revolution was the growing workforce. Britain's population grew rapidly in the 1700s. People now had more and better food. They were healthier, lived longer, and had larger families. At the same time, changes in farming helped increase the supply of industrial workers. New machines, such as the steel plow, meant that farms needed fewer workers. Workers forced off the land often went to work in new industries. Britain's rich supply of natural resources also helped in the rise of industry. The country had fine harbors and a large network of rivers that flowed year-round. Britain's earliest cotton mills were powered by the flow of river water. Britain also had large supplies of coal and iron. Coal, which replaced wood as a fuel, helped to run machines. Inventors make advances. In the late 1700s, cloth merchants were looking for new ways to increase production. A textile weaver named James Hargreaves invented a machine called a spinning jenny that could spin cotton into thread very quickly. Richard Arkwright developed a way to power a spinning machine with water. Edmund Cartwright created a new powered loom. This machine could weave the thread into cloth as fast as the spinning machines produced it. As industry developed, machines required more power than water could provide. Steam power answered this need. In 1769, the Scottish mathematician James Watt designed a steam engine that could power the new machines. 
steam soon replaced water as the major source of power. As the need for machines grew, iron was needed to make machine parts. In 1753, Henry Court discovered a way to use coal to turn iron ore into pure iron. As a result, iron production grew. Coal mining became a major industry. In 1856, Henry Bessemer, an engineer, invented a less costly way to make large amounts of iron into steel. Steel was excellent for making machinery because it was stronger than iron. Soon, mining towns and steel centers grew in areas with supplies of iron ore and coal. Factories and Railroads Faster modes of transportation and new business successes fueled enormous economic growth. In 1807, Robert Fulton, an American inventor, developed a boat powered by a steam engine. Then came the railroad, the biggest improvement in land transportation. By the mid-1800s, trains pulled by steam-powered locomotives were faster and cheaper than any other kind of transportation. Railroads soon connected major cities all across Europe. They completely changed the amount of time and money spent on the transport of goods to market. Trains carried raw materials, finished goods, and passengers faster than horses. Ambitious entrepreneurs, or people who took risks to start businesses, set up and ran Britain's growing industries. They created industries by bringing together capital, labor, and new industrial inventions. Their efforts led to the building of factories, the major centers of the Industrial Revolution. Why did factories develop? Machines became too large and expensive for home use. Workers and machines were brought together in one place in factories, working under managers. Workers could share skills. Factories provided a better organized and less costly way to produce large amounts of goods. One British writer described the changes brought by factory organization, especially in weaving cloth. Primary source. In 1818, there were in Manchester, Stockport, Middleton, and their vicinities, 14 factories containing about 2,000 looms. In 1821, there were in the same neighborhoods, 32 factories containing 5,732 looms. Since 1821, their number has still farther increased, and there are at present not less than 10,000 steam looms at work in Great Britain. From Compendious History of the Cotton Manufacture by Richard Guest As the Industrial Revolution developed, entrepreneurs looked for different ways to raise money. One way was to form a partnership in which two or more people owned the business and pooled their own money. Another way was to create a corporation. A corporation raises money by selling shares or partial ownership in the company to investors. Creating a corporation allowed entrepreneurs to have the capital to build large factories with hundreds of workers. Progress Check Understanding Cause and Effect how did successful farming and a growing population influence the Industrial Revolution in Britain? Growth of Industry Guiding Question How did new inventions help advance the growth of industry? Britain's early start in the Industrial Revolution made it the richest and most productive country in the world. To protect this dominant position, Parliament passed laws restricting the flow of ideas, machines, and skilled workers out of the country. Despite these laws, many inventors and entrepreneurs left Britain. They carried their industrial knowledge with them. As a result, the Industrial Revolution soon spread to other areas. Industry grows in Europe and America. The Industrial Revolution spread from Britain to other European countries. 
European governments helped build factories, railroads, canals, and roads. The Industrial Revolution also took hold in the United States. British investors and American engineers built factories and ironworks in New England. Like Britain, the United States had many natural resources. Americans quickly built roads and canals across the vast nation. Fulton's steamboats provided transportation on inland waterways. Railroads soon crisscrossed the country. New scientific advances. During the 1800s, inventors found many ways to use electricity. In the 1830s, Samuel Morse developed the telegraph. It sent coded messages through wires. Soon, telegraph lines linked most European and North American cities. Alexander Graham Bell developed the telephone in 1876. The telephone used tiny electrical wires to carry sound. For the first time, telephones allowed people to speak to each other over long distances. Finally, in 1895, Guglielmo Marconi put together a wireless telegraph, which was later developed into the radio. Inventors found more ways to use electric power. In 1877, Thomas Edison developed the light bulb. As demand for electricity rose, Investors in Europe and the United States funded the first power plants. These were powered by coal or oil. Major breakthroughs also took place in transportation. In the 1880s, Rudolf Diesel and Gottlieb Daimler invented internal combustion engines. These engines produced power in autos by burning oil-based fuels. In 1903, Orville and Wilbur Wright successfully tested the world's first airplane. Progress Check Identifying How did electricity change communications?